Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of What Did He Play? Um, today I want to talk about some cool products from a company called Flash Music USA. They're very well known for making the best picks anywhere. Um, and they also have jewelry and all kinds of other things, some gadgets like this thing, which is a fretboard illuminator, which is super helpful on a dark stage and in a not well lit room. Um, you know, I've got video lights going here, so I don't know how much you can see, but it's lighting up the fretboard all the way up to the 15th fret beautifully, which is great. So that's one of their really cool things. They also make a thing called the Ice Picks, and that is um, a, a wonderful thing here. You can see this group of picks, right? These are picks, you put them on your guitar, they're safe for the finish, and they stay on with micro suction. There's no adhesive residue. This guitar is brand new, and I'm really proud to be playing a new Wilcox Atlantis Hex FX. And this guitar is so cool, you'll notice there's no pickups or no magnetic pickups. That's because this is run by infrared light. They're optical pickups. What does that mean? Well, for one thing, there's no hum. There's sustain for days, natural sustain, because there's no magnets pulling on the vibrations of the strings. It's a very, very full sound, represents the sound of the wonderful wood that they use on this guitar. And right now I've got phosphorus bronze strings on here, so it's acting like an acoustic guitar, basically. But this guitar can be used for lead, it can be used for rhythm parts, you know. You can use it for lead, as I said. And later on, we'll show you a little bit more about the Wilcox Atlantis Hex Effects. One more thing about it, though. If you notice here, there's another jack, and that's because this connects to a Roland guitar synthesizer. And uh, I've got an old GR20, which is like 15 years old, and this thing tracks great. Anyway, the pick that I choose to use from Flash Music USA is made of Delrin. And I find it to be a really rounded sound. It's a, I can get bright if I need to, but with a lot of the kind of music that I do, it, the, the high strings sing and the, the low strings aren't boomy. It's just really nice. Or even with pop music. just really like this pick. It's about one, well it's not about, it's one millimeter thick. Now I'd like to show you one of the picks I understand the company is most proud of, and that's their titanium pick. Thank you. A lot of people who play uh, heavy metal and alternative music, some indie rock and other music, uh, really love the titanium. It's smooth, it has a great sound, it's not brittle, but you can get really bright. Look, if I play the same kind of thing I just did before, you, you can see that the top strings especially really sing. Now, on this guitar there's a, a, a brighter version. Back to normal. This pick is great. A uh, long time ago when I was recording with classic rock uh, Hall of Famer Brian Adams, uh, I used a dime in one of the recordings. And it's a really cool sound, but you know, the, the rim of the dime gets caught in the string. You really have to kind of work it. This is smooth as can be. It's a great weight. And uh, I, the other thing about this titanium pick is that uh, their prices are incredible on this. Um, so I'd like to show you a couple more. The next pick I'd like to show you is, thank you, it's called the Swiss Pick. And this is, I believe, 0.55 mm's. Um, this is a really cool pick. So here's the package, and on this package it says, more grip, less slip. And that is positively true. So uh, this is 0.55, sounds really good. It's 
a really kind of a nice sound, actually. The idea is these holes that you're seeing around them are little ridges, and it's really hard to drop these. It's exactly as the package says, more grip, less slip, positively 100%. Now, let me show you this. Thank you. Um, this is also a Swiss pick, but this one is a point, 1.50, and this is great because this one um, lights up in the dark. I'm not sure that the green one does or doesn't, but I know that I've tested this one, and it sure does. And the next pick I'd like to show you was a big surprise to me. This pick is made out of beryllium copper, which is an alkaline earth metal. It's one of the rarest metals on earth. And I don't actually know how they got this material, but it's really cool. This is super light. I think it's uh, 0.008 inches, which is like eight, eight one hundredths of an inch, but it really has a very cool sound to it. I mean, it's real even. It can get real bright, but it's not like biting. It keeps some kind of its warmth, you know? Like this pick a lot rather than play with all the picks that they make um, I pretty much have most of them this is way cool this is their uh, 12 picks sample pack and in this thing you've got uh, different gauges of brass copper and stainless steel and I, I'm here to tell you that each one of these uh, you should have in your arsenal because every one of them gives you a really cool sound. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for joining me for this version of What Did He Play? Please go to flashmusicusa.com and also check out the guitar at wilcoxguitars.com. I'm very fortunate to be using these products and I want people to know about it. And thanks as always for supporting me. You can find me at jamieglazer.com or my Facebook page, facebook.com, Jamie Glazer's page. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. Good luck, and bye-bye.